Mike, you've been doing this a while. You've been around yeah. the game of football. Real quick, just football-related question. How, what do you make of the matchup here come Sunday? Well, I mean, everybody's going to be talking about Brock Purdy and Patrick Mahomes and the offenses. To me, maybe I'm biased as a former defensive player. I look at these defenses and how they've been playing, especially Kansas City has been playing well, especially in the playoffs. San Francisco as well. They've been struggling a little bit against the run. But I think the defenses are going to be – you know what they say, defense wins championships. So in this day and age, a lot of people don't agree with that. I still do. You played a lot of football, but you're covering a lot of football, yeah. obviously, after the career. So what's it like to be in Vegas for a Super Bowl, something that's never been done before? What was made out of pro sports coming to Vegas, I, I, I think, was so overblown. I mean, the thought process, even the people in my profession, oh, my gosh, you can't put pro athletes in Vegas. Why? I mean, people have jobs in Vegas, I mean, you know, and they're, and they're just fine. You do your job. So it blew my mind, and the NFL is normally the last to do everything because they're so secure. They're the best sport. They make the most money. They don't need to make changes. So they really waited a long time. But when owners see the letter B in front of numbers they can make in billions, they're like, oh, Maybe we can change our mind about this. It's amazing how that happens. What do you make of Allegiant? I know you've been there probably for other games and oh, such, yeah. but yeah. for a Super Bowl venue, is it the best of the best? It's great. I mean, I've done a few Raider games already. I was here the other year for Notre Dame BYU. It's fantastic. Listen, all these stadiums, they're the best until the next one gets built, and then that's the best. But this is great. The, the big, the one concern will be the aesthetics of it is beautiful, but there's two uh, stadiums that roll in grass, Arizona and, and Vegas. And Arizona, that grass wasn't too good last year for the Super Bowl. So being on the field for this game when I'm down there watching last year the warm-ups and players slip around, I'll be interested to see how this grass is going to be rolled in. I'm sure you've been asked this, but personal question. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? Oh, oh I am. My son, Mike, is a Swifty. I am a, I am a Taylor Swift fan. I, I like her. I like her music. I, this is another thing, the football people, I'm a little, I shake my head at them a little bit and said, why are you guys getting all bent out of shape over this? I mean, you're seeing every play. It's not taking away from football. She's the most popular person on the friggin' planet. And, you know, and Travis Kelsey is a fun guy. So, I mean, so what? It's a cool thing. So why not embrace it? I'll tell you, the league embraced it. How smart was it putting the Miami KC game behind the paywall? where you knew Swifties were going to jump on that subscription for Peacock, and they did, and it was heavily watched. As frustrated as some people were, they probably still shelled out the dough, I oh, would imagine. absolutely right, because it's football, and, and you're going to find a way. And I know that the commissioner, Roger Goodell, was talking about streaming. I don't think this, this game is going to be the only way you can see it. The Super Bowl is streamed or behind a paywall anytime soon. I don't see that happening, but streaming is part of the new world for everybody, but this is our world of sports, it's here to stay. What do you make of ticket prices for the average fan? Well, I mean, listen, they've always been priced out. I mean, when I first got in the league back in 85, I remember when if you don't make the, the Super Bowl, you get to buy tickets at face value. I bought my tickets in 85 at face value for $75. $75. So like anything else, you know, a cup of coffee back then and a cup of coffee now is a little bit different as well. Everything jumps up in price. We've known for a while that the Super Bowl is kind of outpriced for fans and it's a little more white collar. That's a shame, but again, that's something else because of the money they can get is not going to change.